Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and I'm here for 12 by 12 Cardstock Shop. Super excited to show you today's project. Um, so I have two files up on my screen, and what we're making is basically this little milk box. So it folds up, it's super easy, obviously, because I've already done it, I can tell you that. It fits a ton of treats on the inside. So you can do them as party favors. Um, what we're gonna do today is we're designing this so that it will be a keepsake, a little memory box for Christmas. So we're gonna decorate it, we're gonna do a, can't decide, I haven't decided the color yet, but the next video will be <laughs> to show you how to put it all together. Um, but we're gonna decorate it Christmas. I like the idea of implementing this new tradition which is, and my daughter just, you know, she's in first grade, so now we're like writing sentences and stuff like that. Um, and if you if you have younger kids, they could just draw something um, to document the holidays. But I love the idea, because this is almost, th it's two and, um, two and three quarters wide, three and three quarters high. So it can fit quite a big piece. So I was thinking like mini index cards, you can either write a note to each other, you can write, um, you know, a memory from Christmas. And so you kind of just put the year, tie it up, candy cane, um, and every year you take out the box and you can either go through the memories or you can just keep it and like it's decoration and then I don't know maybe set like do you remember when we were younger we would have those writing assignments in school like um, I don't remember what grade it was but we got to write a note to to um, ourselves our future selves and then you know put like do not open and put the you know 20 years later and then you go back and you read something that you wrote to yourself well this is sort of kind of like the same thing like a time capsule a memory capsule so that's what we're going to do now i have two files that i'm showing you in design space this file is a file that i actually bought on etsy it's through nilmara quintella and i like using her files i've used it many many times um, i'm just kind of used to her files i feel like they're easy to assemble um and so there so you, so you can either follow the link onto etsy or if you have design space um, access membership it comes with this little guy this little guy is very you can see it's constructed very sim similarly. <laughs> the difference is for Namara's, these cut lines, these little dotted lines are actually cut lines. As opposed to in design space, these are score lines. Um, I'm gonna be cutting both, so I will show you in the assembly what it feels like. I always lean towards cutting it versus scoring it because I feel like with the cut files it's a lot easier to fold in those dotted lines as opposed to the score lines but that's just my personal preference from a previous project not this one this one I have yet to use this file so I'm going to be cutting it today um the and the only other difference that I noticed is that for this file the one in blue which is the one in pink that I have here do you see the top tabs with the holes I mean obviously we can easily put holes in here we can um, slice it out. Um, but if you notice, not all four sides have them. So the two sides that are missing, you see it folds up here. So this is where it kind of like indents in. <laughs> I know. Um, it's got like a half tab. So I think what that looks like is that when I fold this in, I'm gonna have little tabs coming up, which I think is a little weird, but I am, I will readily admit I am biased. I love Namara's files. <laughs> so I'm already quick to say, mm, I don't know about this one, but we're gonna do both, don't worry. All right, um, so let's get started. What I like to do is I like to make these boxes as big as possible using 12 by 12, um, 12 by 12 inch cardstock because I feel like that's what we mostly have in our, in our stock room. So what I would do is I look at the longer length and I change that to 11 and a half because that's the most that I can cut on my Cricut with 12 by 12 cardstock, right? Now, if you are shaking your heads and saying, no, I prefer to use eight and a half by 11, then you're going to want to change 11.5 to 10.5. 
and then this will cut fully on your almost fully on your 11 by eight and a half card stock okay I'm going to like I said I'm gonna max it out so I'm gonna go 11 and a half on both and now when it comes to decorating if you see so this bottom is this right here folded up so obviously we do not care about the bottoms here to decorate it but from the front side um, with Nomara's and with this one the ones without the mini triangles without these up here is I would consider the front and the back those are the sides that I think would be most important to decorate so we have basically our um, the height and width of which we can put things on it right so let's put like a Santa hat and whatever else but before we do that let's cut out the cards that we know we want to put inside to capture the notes and stuff so what I would do is go to shapes and um, this is new this is with the one of the latest updates for design space we have rounded square corners um, so this is your preference I would use one of these right so or you can even do a funky shape here but I'm gonna just do this one and um, you can use this as your visual to see how big it can be I'm gonna unlock it I'm gonna take it out far and I'm gonna take it like this let's see that's too big I don't want to struggle with putting this inside, right? <laughs> like trying to jam it in without ruining my box. Just make it smaller than what you have. So you can see, um, you know, I was telling you that this is 2.75 by 3.75. At least that's what I thought. But um, so this is going to be two and a half by three. And, uh, you know, you can make it three and a half. Let's see. Um, it's already unlocked. So I'm just going to make it more like round numbers that we're used to seeing all right here we go so that looks good so two and a half card by three and a half card um you know you want you might want to make um one for each family member okay all right so now we have this um with namara's file what you need to do is you need to grab these two items so you're grabbing the cut lines with the cut file and you want to attach it because you want those cut lines to happen exactly where we see it right now so we're attaching the two so that both happens on the same uh, cut file exactly where we expect it to um on this one i think we oh it's already attached okay so i don't think yeah we don't need to do it it's already attached this one's now attached now we can go and have fun with decorating so i'm going to go to images and I want to do, I want to do a Santa hat. So let's, and I swear, okay, <laughs> it's taking so long. I'm like, what is going on here? Okay, here's my Santa hat. Let's see how many we have. Um, and I, you know, I always like to do, because I'm imagining this will be in multiple pieces, like the white um, fluffy part and then the red hat. Um, if you want to, oh, it's taking a while. Um, I always like to do an offset or, you know, an outline so we can layer it and then it can pop up. Um, and we'll see when we put it all together. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know why it's taking so long. Um, Let me see if I can get a different one. Oh, there. Okay, so now what is going on? Okay, so it did give me a lot of Christmas stuff. Um, but you can do this for Hanukkah too. So you can do like a more bluish box if you wanted to or white and blue. I think that would be really pretty. We can put a Christmas tree on there. So let me put in a Christmas tree and see if there's anything else. Um, or it could just be something that fits with your family, right? Like if you always go on vacation for Christmas, I think I would love to implement that tradition when you, soon in my family. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? Um, 
Okay, I'm not seeing anything. I'm just gonna insert, I'm gonna add it to the canvas. Um, the other thing is, you know, we're doing this for Christmas because we're getting ready for the holidays, but I kind of like this idea for, for everything, like for birthdays, right? You have one box that fits the theme, and if this is always like your party favors, I think that's really cute for your, you know, the friends to all write something for your son or daughter. All right, so here is a tree. So um, think about how this is folded. This technically can go past this line if you're putting something to go on top, right? Because the tree can go up to this top part and it wouldn't impede anything. But I'm going to make sure that everything fits within this, within this thing. All right, let's go to images. Let's bring in a Santa hat. And cross my fingers that this time a Santa hat will actually come up. All right, let's see what we get. Santa hat or a candy cane? I don't know. But it better happen. <laughs> um, what I love about this file though is it is super, super easy to assemble. I have now assembled maybe just seven of them. But I honestly think that I can maybe do this blindfolded. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it in the assembly video, but maybe on my own Instagram account, I might just give it a shot because I do think it's that simple to do. Um, oh, how cute is this hat? I think I'm gonna do this hat. Okay, let's add it to the canvas because I'm thinking um, maybe like a pretty foil or something. Okay, so this one's coming in really, really big, right? And I'm gonna put this on the back over here and we can always rotate it a little bit to fit more, you know, not make it so small. So here's the hat. Maybe I'll put 2021 down here. Um, with this hat though, because it's, um, it's just like a cutout, what I wanna do is I wanna duplicate it. And on the duplicate one, I'm gonna to go to contour and I'm gonna hide all. So that's gonna give me a, a fully, um, just like a full hat. Um, I can't describe it, I can't speak right now. <laughs> I'm gonna make this a different color though. I'm gonna change it to, let's make it um, white, okay? And then I'm gonna, just so that you can imagine what it looks like, I'm gonna send that to the front. So it's gonna look like this instead because if you don't have the white then whatever color box you have you're going to see through this little cutout it's like a stencil if you want to think of it that way so i'm going to grab these two and just um, group it together for now so that they move together as one and then i'm going to go to my text and oh same thing with this tree so if i want i'm going to duplicate it and i'm going to make a darker I'm gonna to go to contour, hide all, so that it gives me a full tree without any cutouts. And then I think what I wanna do is I wanna do like a dark green underneath. Okay, so I'm gonna change that to a darker green, knowing that these two are gonna to move together. And then let's go to text and um, Put in 2021, something like that. Um, and if you wanna do, I'm trying to think my color scheme. I might do the box in white and do everything really colorful. So I'm gonna ungroup this, um, maybe do the two, I'm gonna alternate the colors, maybe red and green. I know, I'm so predictable. Um, red and then green, maybe a different green. So not the same as the trees. And there you have it. So I'm gonna make this and I will see you in the next video where we actually assemble everything. And um, just a fun way to to capture all the memories. All right, see you guys later, bye.